What's going on guys, Shout here and today I want to make a video talking about the recent announcement of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Black uh, Breakpoint. I don't know why I was going to say it the other way. But yeah, Breakpoint, Ghost Recon Breakpoint is newly announced. It is coming out October 4th on pretty much all platforms. And I gotta say, this is a game that I did not expect to be so goddamn excited for. Now for one, when I saw the cinematic trailer, all I gotta say is that I have not seen a cinematic trailer done that well in a very long time where it made me very very excited the, despite the fact that it wasn't even gameplay it was just a cinematic trailer it looked phenomenal and we even get Josh uh John Josh John Berthall the guy that plays Punisher I don't know why Josh or John I'm confused right now I'm pretty sure it's John Berthall he plays the Punisher in Netflix you know or was Netflix you know Punisher series phenomenal guy really love him especially in The Walking Dead but he is pretty much a bad guy and if you guys you know I don't really play Ghostlands uh I mean Wildlands uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands and there was recently a free mission basically with his same actor now I do not know if it's the same character but Ubisoft has a history of teasing games with using pre other Ubisoft titles if we look at Rainbow Six Siege this Spartan Authority uh, uh, camo came out in the March and Assassin's Creed Odyssey was not announced yet it was pretty much announced June of E3 and this came out in March so we had April and May to we had no idea Odyssey was coming out we did have leaks eventually but yeah, I mean, they were they were teasing their future games through using already launched games. So this is not new from Ubisoft at all. It kind of took me a while. I kind of pieced together when I saw the guy's face. But yeah, it was pretty badass, pretty awesome. And it's kind of seeing, you know, I wonder if this is going to continue on from Wildlands. Do I need to pick up Wildlands? I've never played Wildlands. I heard it's a, you know, really good game. But yeah, now looking at this, the gameplay, all the nine, it looks phenomenal. It is immersive. The animations are phenomenal. Graphically, it is phenomenal. Now, when it comes to engines, I do not think they're going to be using the Anvil Next engine. I think they're going to be using the Snowdrop engine. The Snowdrop engine was designed for the Division in general. So, I think games are for Ubisoft are going to be switching a little bit more to that engine because it is a lot more powerful. I do not think this is the Anvil Next engine. It does not look like the Anvil Next engine, but I could be wrong. So, yeah. But judging just off some of the details and, you know, the information and all the stuff we see, this game looks insane. Like, watching this gameplay, you're seeing gameplay in the background. I didn't think this was actually the game. I thought Ubisoft went back in their old ways and they were just playing us really, really hard. But then I go on YouTube and I see that many other people have said they played this game. You know, they were brought out, flown out by Ubisoft and they played it and it looks phenomenal. It plays phenomenal, all these different things. So apparently what we saw is what we're going to hopefully be getting. I Again, I'm still a little skeptical. I low-key feel like um, Ubisoft is playing this old school, you know, thing we did like back in the day with Watch Dogs and Rainbow Six Siege and the games go on but I don't think so because Ubisoft has changed their ways in many many ways and you can generally appreciate it but in all I mean this game looks phenomenal the animations and they kind of talked about how they wanted this to be like a survivor per se so you can get injured while on the field you can like break your leg you can do all these different things and you have to heal or it really affects your thing you saw in the beginning if you look right now on screen you see the guy struggling, he kind of, you know, just really got shot, he's limping, he's running, he, there's desperation, it's just, the, what they've done with this game is just phenomenal, I never thought I'd be able to see this, and only time could tell to see if this lives up to, um, you know, the hype and what we see on the screen right now. Now, again, I'm not 100% 100% sure if this is going to be different from Wildlands, I, from what people said that played it, it's pretty much taking the foundations of Wildlands and just greatly expanding upon it. It's going to be kind of its own game in a way, but keeping the Ghost Recon formula in play, as well as the Wildlands formula we did saw a few years ago. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this one. I really hope you guys check out this trailer. I'm going to leave a link to both the breakthrough, the whole uh, breakpoint. I don't know why breakthrough. I don't know. I'm thinking about it for five. I'm going to leave a video, a link down below to the full breakpoint gameplay, the walkthrough gameplay that they showcased on their live stream, as well as the cinematic trailer. Again, the cinematic trailer is probably one of the best trailers I've seen in a very, very long time. So definitely check it out. You know, it gets a lot of emotions going. But until next time, guys, hope you have a good one. Hope you guys like this video. Drop a subscribe. You know, hit that subscribe button, actually. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. But until next time, guys, Shannon here, and I'm out.